if you would ask me what's my typical day, I don't actually have a typical day. Hamilton Island is quite unique for the fact that all the guests, all the staff and the community participate in a lot of the events that we run. I relate to Australia in so many different ways. I think that really easy, g'day mate, sort of our attitude is pretty similar to back in the islands, you know. Australia for me is a place where I have started a new life. I'm very lucky to actually live and work here. I was born in Pukapuka in the Cook Islands and was blessed with five brothers, four sisters and uh, it was a massive family. Dad was a fisherman and mum was uh, a teacher. My mum was always an inspiration in my whole life. I was fortunate enough to be involved in, in a lot of the Cook Island culture performances, got invited to Australia, so here I am. <laughs> When I got to Australia, I was just dumbfounded, I suppose. It just looked like a whole universe of spaceships, you know, with just all these lights. I was 14. The group eventually went back, but I, I stayed in Australia instead. I think all my life, sports has really guided me a lot and sort of made me grow up. One of my routines in the morning is to have a, a workout at the gym and then start my day from there. Four years ago, the staff turnovers was pretty high. They needed a staff activities and events person to make staff happy. And they just looked at me, well, there's no one else but you. So they gave me the job to build a family. So I am now a father Aki with lots of kids. And Hamilton is my church. <laughs> Part of my job is communicating with staff all over the island. I feel like I'm, I'm a teacher and it's always something that's been in my heart and my mind. We're able to really look after all our staff and I get a real excitement about the activities and events that we create for the first time. Pretty much the whole total rhythm of the island, the morale of the island has changed and it's been a, a very rewarding experience. The Hamilton Island Library, for example, when I first got here was an exchange book which consisted of a few meters of this shelf. I said that we really needed to improve that and eventually I turned it into a library. On my time off I uh, try and get involved with all sorts of sports. You have to love the job, you have to love sports. I love to run, I play tennis. We really make sure that we are fit enough to become role models, be teachers and we are fit enough to challenge all the staff. We have uh, Hamilton Island Outrigger Club and it's probably one of the main reasons why um, Hamilton Island has really attracted me in all these years. You know, when I was born, I was literally throwing a paddle in a canoe and uh, since then I've always loved the sport. A lot of our outrigging paddling happens in the late evening and really at the end of the day, once you've done a 20k, Everyone sort of comes in exhausted and it's uh, a team effort, well done. Ahangi is a traditional way of cooking from pretty much all the Polynesian islands. Sort of uh, reminds me of what we used to do as a family back home in the Cook Islands. It's something that I, I share with all our friends. It's really spiritual for me. In terms of identity, it's in the hard basket because I'm sort of a stuck in a crossroad. I'm Polynesian but infused with Australianism and it is my new home. It is a country that I love and I'll be doing some more travelling but I will always come back to Australia. <laughs>